Welcome to Electro Online. So now let's apply what we learned in the previous video. We're going to do an example of the potential gradient. So we're going to take an infinite line charge. We'll pick a point a distance one meter away, call that point A, that's a fixed point A, and then some arbitrary point R farther away than, than A. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to find the electric field at that location by using the definition of the gradient. And so we know that the electric field strength is going to be equal to the negative partial derivative of the potential divided by R. Now, where did the potential come from? Well, we use this equation right here where we go VA minus VR, which means you go from R, you move to A, and then you take that voltage difference. So going from here to here, we go closer to the positive charge, meaning that the potential will go up. So we'll have a positive potential. And that's defined as the linear charge density divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught times the natural log of R over A, R being bigger than A. And that's what we got on a previous video. But instead of writing it as the natural log of R over A, we're going to write it as the natural log of A minus the natural log of R. So what do we do now is we're going to take the partial derivative of that, the negative partial derivative. So now we're going to write this as minus the partial with respect to R of this quantity right here, which is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught times the natural log of A minus the natural log of R, like so. There we go. Of course, we realize that this is a constant, so this can come outside, so this becomes the natural, uh, let's see, do we need the negative sign there? Yeah, might as well put the negative sign there, divided by 2 pi epsilon sub naught times the partial derivative with respect to R of what's left, which is the natural log of A minus the natural log of R. But then again, A is a constant. We put it at one meter away, it's not going to move. So if we're going to take the partial derivative with respect to R of a constant, that goes to zero. So this becomes equal to minus the linear charge density divided by two pi epsilon sub naught times zero minus, and the partial derivative with respect to R of the natural log of R is one over R. Now, notice that's a zero. This negative will cancel out this negative, so now we end up with E in the R direction is equal to the positive lambda over 2 pi epsilon sub naught times 1 over R. Now, if we take a closer look at that, that should look very familiar. That is the electric field strength that we get for an infinite line charge. If we use Gauss's law, we get that exact result. But in this case, we got it by using the potential gradient, by taking the definition of the voltage difference, taking the negative partial derivative with respect to R, the direction that we want the electric field in, and we end up with the very same equation. And that is how it's done.